Writing a guided paragraph. Activity 7. Complete the paragraph about yourself with these verbs. In this activity, we have a list of verbs like play, speak, have, draw, live, understand, teach, and list of be verbs in the present tense form. We have three be verbs in the present tense. Am, is, are. So now we have to put these verbs in the following paragraph. This is about myself. Someone has written this paragraph about himself named Fahad. So let's fill in the blanks with the listed verbs above. The first sentence is indented here we can find and it is my name there is a blank and Fahad. So from the subject here we can find my name is a third person singular number subject and it requires a verb like is. My name is Fahad. I and definitely the I first person singular number and it requires the be verb like am. I am 28 years old. The next sentence I am a teacher. I there is a blank English in King Faisal International School. So the most suitable verb for this here what do you think play? I play English in King, King Faisal International School. No, we have to consider the verb and the meaning. Here we find English and the most suitable verb here is teach. I teach English in King Faisal International School. As it is given the information here also, I am a teacher. So, I teach English in King Faisal International School. Next sentence, I, there is a blank also married and this married is an adjective. So before the adjective we always put be verb and it is the subject I so we have to put I am married. The next one I there is a blank three children so we can find speak three children draw three children no there is a verb most suitable verb here for this I have three children. The next sentence I there is a blank in the city center so it usually says about the place you live in or the place where you live. So there is a verb here I live in the city center. The next sentence there is a blank here I like to football and pictures there are two blanks in this sentence. So first one I like to play we can write here I like to play football and pictures. So the most suitable verb for this draw. I like to play football and draw pictures. So these are my hobbies. I there is a, another blank here Arabic and English. These are the names of languages so we can put I speak I speak English and Arabic or in the sentence it is saying I speak Arabic and English so Fahad can speak Arabic and English final one is I also a little French and this is definitely a language French and the remaining verb here is I understand a little French. So this is the additional information about Fahad that he understands French language too. Using apostrophe correctly. Apostrophe. We can find here this is an apostrophe is one of the punctuation marks. We already learnt about different punctuation marks like comma, full stop or sometimes we say period then question mark and exclamation sign. So this is another punctuation marks we are going to learn about in this lesson. Let's see the use of apostrophe. As you see here we use apostrophe to show position. Position means that means someone has something or something belongs to someone. Place the apostrophe before the S to show singular position. 
Let's have the examples. Number A. We can find one boy's hat. It means the hat belongs to one boy. And we can find the comma just before S. As it says here, place the apostrophe before the S to show singular position. So here before the S we put the apostrophe here. The second sentence, my brother's car. This means the car belongs to one brother and we can put the comma or the apostrophe just before S. Number C, one child's toy. And it means the toy belongs to one child. And just before S we put the apostrophe here. Using apostrophe correctly. Here we have to understand that to show plural position, make the noun plural first, then immediately use the apostrophe. Let's have some examples here. Number A. Two boys' hats. Here we find the number of the boys. How many? Two boys. So we make the noun first plural, adding S with the noun, and then after immediately we use the apostrophe. Here is the apostrophe, just after S. This means the hat belongs to two boys. There are two hats and these are for two boys. Sentence number B, my brother's car. And here we can find my brother's car. That means how many brothers we don't know, but the brothers, maybe two or three or four. And it's a plural noun. As we add S with the noun and we put apostrophe just after this. So it means the car, the single car, but it belongs to more than one brother. Sentence number C. My brother's cars. Here we have plural brothers, brothers in plural number and the car also in plural number. And it means the cars, there are a lot of cars maybe, but it belongs to more than one brother. Not a single car. This time we have many cars as the noun has S. So we find the cars. It means many cars, but it belongs to more than one brother.